Hi everyone, so we're going to show you a series of ZBrush tips over the coming weeks and today we're going to start with a common error that a lot of people come across it's not actually an error but a common problem that everyone comes across that when you're sculpting on one side of a mesh um, as I'm about to do here with possibly a clay tubes brush for example that what happens is you sculpt away and you think everything's going fine then you turn around and the model has just collapsed on the other side and you think that's not good at all so the way to avoid that I'm just going to undo that here the way to avoid that is to go to your brushes menu then go down to auto masking and turn on back face mask what that will do is actually auto mask the other side of the mesh that you're working on so if we try and sculpt again on the mesh and as we turn around you can see that this is actually not a problem anymore this is uh, something that you actually I find really handy to have on my interface so I'd advise that you go to your go to your preference menu, go to config and then go to enable customize Once this is on, you can hold down Control and Alt and actually drag that with your left mouse button onto your interface. Uh, so you have it there for the future and also the Store Config button, which I find handy. Uh, once this is on, as we said, it is on, so we can now go to our Brushes menu, go down to Samples and Control drag our Backface Mask option onto our menu, onto our interface. If we now turn this off, this is on our menu for good. And as we hit Store Config, this will be there for the next time we start ZBrush. This is brush specific, so we're on the clay brush tool now. And if we change this to a different brush, you can see that the back face masking is off. And as we turn back, you can see this back on again. So it is brush specific, and this will be stored for this version, this session of ZBrush only. Hope this tip helps. See you in the next one.